Swerve. Hi, I'm Andrew Armstrong. Welcome to the back of this. I'll just clear my desk. There you go. Nicely cleared. Have a look at this. This was lent to me. Lent, not given. Lent, so I try not to break it. Um, to me by my good friend Tim. And it is ugh, a basically like one of those USB battery banks, but for your car, apparently. It does engine start capability and it blew my mind because I saw him using this and he actually jump started a car from it and uh, I was like wow we because I'm used to having big dirty great uh, lead acid batteries and jumper cables and things to start things so when you see something so tiny like this being able to drive a, a car around you think hmm this is definitely interesting um, if you head over to Big Clive, you'll see uh, he has a teardown of this wire and tells you what's in here. This is a diode pack, by the way, just so that you can't uh, put the crocodile clips on the wrong way and then cause this to blow up, literally blow up. So it comes with this main unit. The main unit appears to have an on-off, obviously has an on-off switch, probably a charging port and a torch. Nice and bright. Actually, it is bloody bright couple of different modes look at that um oh that's quite snazzy level indicator 12 volts 16 volts 19 volts how does that work whoa can you actually all right we gotta test this guys that is bonkers that's really cool if, if that means you can actually drive the output harder does it count for the car or does it just count for the output let's see mm, that just looks like regular volts there to me so that's staying at 13.4 outputs. That's car voltage stuff, but this is set to 19. Let's see if we measure on the pins. 19. So this is the output port here. You can switch between them. So that's quite neat because it, these look like various adapters. So you probably can actually just power your laptop off this and that's what, what they're for. Nice. So you've got your laptop adapters. You've got your USB 5 volts. Any more, any more? No, just that one. And your car jump starting. I'm guessing this would be a charger. Would it be a booster? Yeah, this is a charger. Some things actually have the outputs to this, where you can plug that into the, you know, charge your car from the lighter socket. But uh, I'm not really happy with that. So I'm glad this doesn't have it. And a standard mains adapter. So I don't know if we're going to be able to get into it, but I'm going to have a quick look. And uh, if you're watching, Tim, I do apologise in advance for dismantling it. I know you probably didn't intend for me to to get in there but i'm just gonna have a, a little sneaky look a little crafty crafty sneak inside now to get inside here it's got that weird rubbery feeling some <laughs> rubber it's got a weird rubbery feeling so i'm just going to be trying to prise my way in gently without damaging it and you can hear i'm having a big old rummage again my splodges i'd give my kingdom for some splodges right now just gonna see if i can get in there any which way okay i went to get some eye protection i couldn't find any um just to let you know yes it's totally defeated me i couldn't open it with spludges or knives or anything and i don't want to break it i tested this port this port is always live so it's connected directly to the battery so i suspect you've got basically three lithium cells in series to give you 12 volts because lithium cells are at roughly three point something right 3.5 so uh, we could have a bit of fun with this because this is going to have some serious amount of uh current it doesn't actually say does it oh 200 amps to 400 amps peak current 200 amps start current so that's that's a reasonable amount of amps to play with so i'm going to we're going to zoom in. We don't need to see this bit. We just want to play with these clips. So what can you do with a couple hundred amps? Well, I suspect you should be able to do fun stuff with solder. So there we go. Ready to see some soldering action. It's almost like welding, isn't it? Arc welding. Nice. It's got an interesting smell as well. Very... Uh, very nice there. So yeah, you could do that. I suspect if you get a circuit board, you could do some calamity. Oh, did you see that? That was the that was that chip there. Ha <laughs> ha. I don't think that's IC is going to work anymore. Right, oh, smells really funky. 
So wait, did we just kill it? Or is, is there nothing left on this board to fry? Stanley knife, this sort of knife. I thought, let's see if we can make like a hot blade for cutting, for cutting through paper. Whoa! 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 What the hell? Look at that! That was crazy. I didn't even have eye protection on. Jeez! Whoa! It's like it's crazy good. Sheesh! It's like it's it's what? What? I'm scared now. I got to stay in the office for like an hour just in case something's going to catch fire. Look at that. Look at the blade. That is bonkers. That is insane. I wonder what these are made of. These like catch fire. That is freaky. Woo. That's definitely not going to do much cutting now. I'm not even sure it can retract. It can't even retract. Let's get this paper out of the way. I don't want any more. Any more flammable things here. Look at this thing. This is the sort of wire that comes on a cell. You know, you get a lithium cell and it comes with a sort of wire-y thing attaching to it. Whoa! Yes, I like. Look at that. That is some cool. Ah, ah. Oh no! We burned the back office board. Now it's ageless beauty is damaged. Oh, sorry, Tim. Kind of got a little bit of a little hot spot there. Mm, don't worry about that. Don't worry about that. It won't affect its functionality. Right, next thing is this bit of wire. Um, again, no idea where my wire cutters are, but uh, wire strippers. So I'm just going to have to uh, leave the insulation on in its entirety and we'll just hook up on the end and see what happens. It would be nice to. Nice if it kind of did something interesting rather than just explode like it got hot. But we need uh, maybe like some sort of current limiting thing on this so we can give it a bit more adjustment. I'm going to have to consider that in the future on how we can do that. Um. Whoa! <coughs> oh my life! <coughs> ah. Okay, that. <laughs> That's quite an acrid smoke. Um, just to show you what's happened, it's clearly basically caught fire. Like the whole bit of wire just went up in one go. And uh, I was really worried. I thought I might have actually broken your uh, thing here, Tim. It's, uh, it's quite warm. This cable itself has got quite warm, as has this pack. But we'll turn it on. Let's have a look. Will it go on? Yeah, it will. That used up a whole cube. I'm not going to abuse this anymore with dead shorts like that. But bloody hell, it can take it. Oh boy, can it take it. Yeah, this is a serious piece of kit. So if you're looking for something to cause calamity, um, and calamity has been caused, I can assure you it's just full of smoke in here. I can't recommend this best tech more. I've seen it starting cars. I don't know what sort of the biggest size of engine it can start but really if its rating is 200 to 400 amps 400 peak I think you'll have a good chance of even getting over a diesel if it's in line with the battery you know if it's in parallel so I like that I think that's a very good thing and it's a very nice kit it's certainly you know I'm going to clean it off but uh, it just seems to have everything you might want to uh, to use really yeah even these uh, grips you know considering what they've taken have, have taken a certain amount of abuse i reckon i don't have one on me but i reckon if i had a welding rod here i think you could even weld with this i think you could definitely do a bit of gentle welding with a welding rod so consider that if you're packing one of these in one of your sort of prepping kits and you need to escape into the wilderness and there might be some metal you'll need to sort of weld but yeah that's pretty darn good hope that's been of some use to you and again no uh, it's been pretty pretty incoherent not planned unfortunately but uh, you know i think that was uh, an interesting uh, aside i might try to get hold of one of these myself i think you can have a lot of fun with one of these calamity if you've got one and you've burnt up some stuff send me some links to your videos or some tweet me some pictures i want to see what you've done with it uh, please like, click, uh, like, click, click, subscribe, and everything. Yeah, and do that thing. Yeah, thanks. Bye.